and it's uh, it's a good thing to keep track of uh, where they are. The old saying about keeping your uh, enemies closer, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. So, right. Uh, I, I get surprised. having the capabilities, Cap. I'm not surprised either that they were able to do it. What I find a little surprising, and I'd love your insight into, is the coordination of the communication. I get why the Navy would say, hey, we're going to give you this information. Uh, don't talk about our systems, though, because we want to keep that secret. But this was days ago. Um, they supposedly uh, shared the information with the incident commander. But why wouldn't it come out until today? Well, that, that's one that the Coast Guard has to answer. I mean, I understand as a retired uh, Navy career officer, you get this kind of information, you try and pass it up to the people that have the uh, need to really use it. So it would be untoward for the Navy just to release it. Some, uh, some comments have been, well, why didn't the Navy tell somebody? Well, they did, the right person. It's mm -hmm. called chain of command or chain of responsibility. The Coast Guard was in charge of the on-scene commander, and the Navy did the right thing, handing it to them. Now, why the Coast Guard didn't release it or talk about it, I just don't know. It's